Hello everyone. So today I've got a nice, easy, simple tutorial for you on how to make this card. I've used the salutations paper from Knitwits to make this. So I printed off um, two of the background papers of my choice. So it's nice blue floral and the pink. And then printed off a number of the toppers, which I'll go through in the video. So it's a nice, easy card. Opens up and stands a bit like a Z fold, just with a little difference with how it's laid out. Remember that. In the tutorial though, I do finish without adding all these extra flowers on. So once you get to the tutorial, you'll see I have added more flowers up because I felt it was a bit empty up here. There's plenty of dimension. Like I said two pieces of uh, paper, but you'll have enough left over to make another card. One piece of black and a few toppers easily adaptable and let's get going and remember if you do have a go at it no matter what papers or anything you use I'd really like to see so join my Facebook group paper crafting with Paul and please show me your designs for this fold so to start this card I've printed off a fairly plain pink paper from my salutations kit and then a really decorative one with this blue background with lots of detail. I've got a piece of black cardstock, just a four piece and I've made myself a little design sheet using some of the images. Now you'll see that I've copied this one here but I know I'm only going to want the butterfly so I've cropped the others just to save ink. So just in my software, just cropped the corner down. So I've only got the butterfly. And I've copied and pasted this one, just rotated to fit on, because I'm going to decoupage some of this up. So I've put three sentiments, because I don't know which one yet. And this is one from the exclusive one, which if you bought it straight away, you'd have that as well. So I'm not sure which I'm going to use yet. So I just put a variety. If I'd been clever, I could have maybe fitted two of these on and two of these on and been able to get two cards out of it but I hadn't at the time. So I'm going to start off with the black cardstock and we're going to make the base. So I'm just going to grab my trimmer. As I said this is just a piece of black card and to make the base I'm going to cut it at five inches. So I've got the nice long piece, which is five inches tall, by 11 and a half. So it's just a little slither off. That's just to make the measurements easier. So that's at my base. And then the top piece, I'm going to use the other bit that's left over. And it should be three and a quarters already. So I don't need to do anything with the height. But I'm just going to cut the length at nine and three quarters. Okay. So if I look at my A4 piece of card, I've got my five by eleven and a half, and my three and a quarter by nine and three quarters, and a little piece left over then which will come later on for back in my sentiment. Okay, so let's grab our scoreboard. Now we start with a bigger piece. And we're going to score this at two and a quarter. And four and a half. And then the other one, the smaller one, again, exactly the same. Two and a quarter and four and a half. So this is my base. So I'm going to fold. This is my two score lines. This is my uh, five by seven then base. I'm going to fold it back and then fold it back on itself. 
So we've got a Z going on. And then with the other one, I've got my two score lines on this side this time. I'm going to fold this one back and then bring this one back on itself to make the Z fold that way. And because we scored these depths at the same line, what will mean is now this bit will be the same on both pieces. So they'll come up to the same height. And that's your basic card base. Nice and easy, nothing too hard about it. But what I'm going to do is decorate this before sticking this on. So let's bring back our patterned papers. So I'm going to use this on the back this time and this on the front. So because this is my printed paper, I do have a white line. So I'm just going to take my white line off on two sides. There we are. So now I've got a side I can measure with. So for the background piece, I'm going to cut it a quarter of an inch less. So my card base was five inches tall. So I'm going to go back to four and three quarters. And let's cut off this way. So four and three quarters tall. And I'm going to cut my first one. So it was seven. So I'm going to go back to six and three quarters. And I'm starting on the left hand side of the page. So I've got my paper continuing. Now I need two pieces cut at two inches. So that's my base. Now I'm going to grab my pink one. And again, I'm just going to take the white off. And with the front pieces, you're going to cut them at three inches tall. And I'm going to cut the long piece first. So that's going to be five inches and two, two inches. So this paper hasn't really got a repeat, so it doesn't really matter what order I cut it in. But I'm just gonna keep going as I was. Now what's really good about this card is, these two pieces that are left over, I can actually cut this one at four and three quarters again, and this one at three, And I can cut, that's got the white edge, let's bring it around to this side, my six and three quarters and two twos. And then the blue one, got a white piece this side, let me just trim that off so I can start on the left to get my pattern repeat. If I cut this one at five, and then my two and two, what I've actually got now is pieces to make a second one. So if you're printing two A4 pieces of paper, you'll actually get two cards out of it, which is why I probably should have done a second lot of all of the um, toppers as well. Then I could have made a second one, but never mind. Okay. So because this is a printer paper, I might have a bit of a white core, or if you've got a furry edge, just take your um, Distress Ink, my black soot around the edge. So 
So this will just hide any of your white marks and just ties in with a black card. Of course, you can use any coloured cardstock you want. So I could have used a pink, I could have used a navy. That would have been quite nice to tie in with the butterflies. I don't know on this one, but they're not actually spots, but little hearts. So I'll have to make sure I've got that going the right way when I come to stick it all together. There we are. So I've got my backing panels done. So let's bring back my base card first. I just realised I did cut these the wrong way around, but that doesn't matter. I'll just get my pattern and repeat this side. I should have cut my two twos first. So it's got some double-sided tape. Just leave a black border. And now I am going to have this rose. Nope, it's the butterfly that goes around there. So let's just place that again in between those two score lines. So that's the card base. It's really nice paper, actually. I did make one with um, the butterflies before in this green. Uh, by looking at that card and this one, you wouldn't think it's the same kit. So let's have a look. So this now, I want to make sure my two and a quarter inches are off to my right. Hearts upside down. So in between those lines again. In between the score lines and on the left hand side, uh, right hand side. So that's our two pieces made. So now I'm just gonna stick them together. So I'm just gonna put some tape. Let's see if I'll add some glue just to keep. Let's just unblock it, get my pin. Glue's not playing ball today. Right. Here we go. So I've got some glue there just so I can move it about if need be. So I'm going to close this down and I'm going to close my card. So I've got both closed and now I'm just going to look down and line this up in the centre. So I'm looking at the six, uh, the seven by five outer, and just lining this smack bang in the middle. So that is my card. Now I'm going to just put some tape here up against this edge, and up against this edge. Let's just add some glue as well, because. I don't want to be sticking all this, otherwise it's going to glue your card shut. And by putting the tape down this edge, just in between there, I know I'm going to get adhesion up to the edge there. So I'm closing it again and sticking it down. 
and that is the card base stands up nicely and then it's just a case of decorating it as you wish so let's bring back my topper sheet and I think I'm gonna go with this happy anniversary one because it pulls in all the navies and the greens now with this bit um, I'm gonna just cut around the butterfly and these flowers I'm gonna actually cut these two bits off because I just want the butterfly and the flowers so here we go I've already cut this so you don't have to sit and watch me I've got my happy anniversary then with the butterfly I've just cut the butterfly, cut away the blue flower. And with this one, I've cut away the small bits. I mean, if you enjoy fussy cutting, go for it. But I've just cut the bits I want. And then from the other one, out of all of it, I only ended up cutting the navy flower. So I did cut this just a note to say hello as well. So we'll see which one we like later on. So here we go, here's my card blank. I think I am gonna go with the happy anniversary one. So I'm gonna just take my glue. And this is just the scrap piece of black we had from making our base. So I'm just gonna put it in the corner, leaving a little black line, just a bit of a border. Now I've already gone around this image with my black soot to get away, uh, get that black core away. I haven't with this yet, so you can see really where there's still some white edging. So by taking this black soot around, what you're hiding is your cutting, if it's not perfect, and it just sort of camouflages it. And also adds a little bit of a shadow. You can see on the leaf there. So it's taking your digis but using them in a more traditional way. So let's have a think about the layout. So happy anniversary is going to go there. So let's put this flower like that. So we don't want to be going too far off. So I'm actually going to stick this flat, I think, so that my sentiment stands a bit proud because I'm going to put some foam tape behind that. Let me add a little bit more black soot to the edge of this just because it's pink on pink. It just make it stand out a little bit more. So let's have it like that so it's not going over the top of the edge it's quite close but not going over so it'll still fit into my envelope let's add some foam tape to the back of this yeah i don't need to trim it let's put some more on Uh, let's close it so I can line it all up and this navy flower which one's it that way around I've just added some small foam pads onto the back and then Let's add, actually I'm going to lift this and we're going to stick it underneath. Actually I'm going to stick it, let's double mount it, let's stick it on top.
So my sentiment is one height. Now my butterfly is going to be a double height. So I'm going to add my foam tape. And then another piece of foam tape on top. So this is actually going to be higher up now than my sentiment. So let's close it. And then with the butterfly, let's just put some glue down his body and glue it on. So we've got that dimension there with So with the card then, you can just keep going, decorating it as you wish. You can add more foliage. So I may add some more of the flowers here, or maybe another butterfly. But it's up to you now, just to keep going. And, you know, if you've got your digibase, you can just keep changing and go. Then just simply add a piece of white cardstock on the back, just um, six and three quarters by four and three quarter white piece on the back would we'll just finish that off then for you to write onto it. So that's the basic fold and easily decorated with any papers you want. So here's one I made with a jungle theme. I can't remember the name of the kit off the top of my head, so I'll have a look and I'll add a link and write in the description below so you can see I've really gone to town with all the foliage this time. And I've used the white background and the blue background of the same paper there with the Born to be Wild and the Lima. So same basic fold, two very different cards. So hope you enjoy and give it a try.